so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Razor. And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, Tommy the Duke. dressing room. Watch those low blows. Watch the headbutts. Let's have a good clean fight, okay? Watch Round up. number one. Scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Able to counter that attack. the headshot, but he carries it away. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Tommy Morrison's the victim of a powerful hook. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. It is a seesaw battle early on here. Amazing stuff out of these two. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. He just missed that shot up top. Blocks that punch. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Able to dismiss that body shot. hit, but he gives it right back. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Some fine fundamentals. Good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there. He let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. Look, stand straight up. Move that body. Keep move that body. Jam, jam, it's 12. Welcome to the body, then to the head. Here we go. Round two is underway. Good job with another left hand. Good work now, backing up what he did. Able to dismiss it. Morrison starting to bleed from the nose. Good looking counterpunch. 
Tommy Morrison snapped by a right hand. Left hand came after the jab. Was just off the mark. Able to cover up that gut. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Halfway through round number two. Gotcha. Counter power punch. Does it surprise you that he's not going to the body as much as he could be? Well, what surprises me is that he doesn't have the intuitiveness, you know, just, just the instinct to understand, to recognize the situation. That's part of the ability of a good fighter, to recognize what he should be doing in a certain situation. He's not seeing that. He should be going downstairs. Not able to land the headshot. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Morrison's really in a groove right now, landing that straight punch. Well, what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance. He's getting his opponent, you know, sort of lean in a little bit, and then bang, that straight shot is right there. He missed with that headshot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this. Oh, and there you go. Razor's almost out of it there. He was stunned. No holding. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. Good block by Razor. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. Good looking counter punch. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Tommy Morrison's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Accuracy at issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Hey, I thought he was going to be knocked out just moments ago, but he has survived this. Well, he has a granite chin. Very well done by both men to fire off those right hands. Locks it away. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top.
gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Last 10 seconds. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. You're getting caught up in fighting his fight. Focus for me. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's stab away. fight he fires back a right hand of his own good looking counter punch Way through round number four. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Blocks that punch. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Targeting the hooks on each man. What a good counter punch by Razor. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Way to block there. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. He's bleeding from the side of his face there. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. And he's able to put his punches together. That's a nice looking combo. Well, that's the benefit of two and three instead of one. Teddy, 
this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. Good return fire that time. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you notice in here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. They are... Holy cow! Tommy Morrison's been stunned! That's just like a little love shove right there. Just a little love shove to give yourself some room. sense that they know no other way how to fight. They're, oh, that's got to hurt. Tommy, oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Now he missed that right. Tommy Morrison's now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times. And that is, how do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage? Look at that cut around the eye. So for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut. When you see your first blood, when you see it, that it's your blood, how do you behave? We're going to find out right now. Blocks away that headshot. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> and now he's putting his punches together. There he goes. Morrison's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important, right? Oh, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Keep busy, guys. Come on now, keep busy. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? Tommy Morrison's got to deal with a cut cheek. That was not well targeted by Razor. Morrison's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. And 
And another shot comes in. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of who's really up. I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, and what it's a testament to, Joe, is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. He's done. Good. All right, keep your hands up, all right? All right, you're doing fine. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Trading hooks. A headshot blocked. by Razor. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Way to block there. Showing you some defense there with the block. Opening two minutes, a minute to go in this round. Blocks away that headshot. What is one of the best rounds you'll ever see? Just straight action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Body shot. What a nice counter that was. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that help us do what we do. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mousetrap. They let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance.
parries that punch intended for the head. Boy, that's a big gash there on the cheek. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Throws a counter punch there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Blocks it away. Tommy Morrison stunned and he is hurt. Gets rid of that. It was intense. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy end of this round alongside teddy atlas i'm joe tessator now they got some work to do here their man was just dropped yeah the first thing is you put some cold water you can't use that you clear his head and you tell him why he was dropped His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Morrison's tentativeness is really showing through now. Teddy, you think that's got anything to do with the fact he was knocked down earlier? He probably should have taken up golf because they say golfers need a short memory. Well, fighters need a short memory. You're right, he has to forget what happened before. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. <laughs> over but couldn't turn it into a connect and he's able to put his punches together that's a nice looking combo well that's the benefit of two and three instead of one oh he just misses with that headshot Blocks that belt line well. Tommy Morrison's doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now it's got to be all about him trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an actor. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. 
He just missed that shot up top. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. A headshot blocked. Tommy Morrison's nailed by a counterpunch. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. We got an interesting fight here. It looks like one man is seemingly in control, but the other is still live, is still game, is still capable. May need to hit that jackpot, though. Well, he probably does need that knockout, so right now he has to adjust his game plan, his thinking a little bit. He's got to look for a spot to land one big shot. Maybe when he's pulling out. Throws a counter punch there. Offense, nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. that punch away oh that's gotta hurt a huge shot rains down and he's on the floor and he has a decision to make a choice to make right now one two three four five. he went down from a big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're gonna find out exactly what he's made of not hitting his mark there going upstairs able to show you his blocking ability he's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round remember last round he went down he was on the canvas now look he wants to tie his opponent up that's the best way to get through right now but what he doesn't want to do joe is to reach in there you know reach out to grab his guy and then he leaves himself open he's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him he's not exposing himself to get dropped again <laughs> Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five, six. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Keep moving. 
This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Mistargeted. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Nice block by Razor. He is staggered and stumbling. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's bumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight on the ropes. This is one time he probably needs to be on the ropes just to steady him and then move his head a little bit. That might be his only shot. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock to survive. Able to get rid of that one. Teddy, we got a scenario here where a fighter's offensive output has clearly dropped off since being knocked down. I looked at the punch stats. It's an unbelievable drop-off in production. If I'm the opposing fighter, you got to look at this as a golden opportunity. Yeah, it's like being a kid and you're in a candy store, and all of a sudden you see a sign-up that says, come on in, take all the candy you want. Guess what? You're going to wipe that store out. He's going to go wipe this guy out now. Punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Morrison's employing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the leg. Yeah, he is. And that is one of the facets. The others to block, the others to move your head. And right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Razor's in a bad spot no, right no, now. No. He's been stunned. <laughs> he scored well after being hit himself. There it is! Tommy Morrison's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Some punches here. It's like a light switch just went on. All of a sudden, he's the aggressor now. Oh, well, it's like your parents came in the room and they put that switch on. His corner, not his parents, told him, get on this guy. Good looking counter punch. That 
was a highly competitive back and forth bout. Now let's hear which way it went. All three judges score the fights. A draw. So it goes down in the books as a draw. Some may be disappointed, but that's the end result. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Good night from ringside.